get some stripers in there for the homie Rob. So uh, pretty much all this area, pretty much everywhere is free game. Um, where I, what I like to do is get to the power lines right there. Up there is some islands. We're gonna try to get around this hump, but pretty much I would just start casting it around as we get up there. This is a swim bait, and you'll be surprised. It'll be right under us in two feet of water. Yeah, that guy's nailing them right there. That guy's nailing them just right there. We're probably gonna pick up a striper just trolling a swim bait, I'm not gonna lie. That's what I'm doing right now. When we start seeing those seagulls, bro, grab that popper, reel up your swim bait, and we gotta throw it right in that ball. So this is like the speed they like it for trolling. Fish on. Rob. Fish, little guy. I don't think he's illegal though. Seventeen and a half, too small. I was on a swim bait. So if they're right here, let's circle this area. Just hammer it with swim baits real quick. Nice. First striper of the year or what? What'd you catch that one on? Is popper? Spook. It's fine. Is he over 20? Want to throw him on my boat if you don't want him?
For sure. Yeah. I want to keep some stripers, man. Some meat. No, he's got he's got a gut on him. The one I caught was all skinny. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm gonna wonk him. Yeah. Hey, you got some chunk on him. Nice one. He's already done. Keep moving. I see him jumping over there. There we go. Or maybe not. Dummy, should have seized my net. Oh, what am I thinking, you idiot? Dumb move, really dumb move. That was a 22. That was painful, man. That was a big one. I had the net ready and I just couldn't get the net around him. And I was like, I'll just lip him up. It was a big one. See striper like that one I just pulled in, dude. He fell off the hook. I'm like, oh man, he got a thick jaw. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good one. Hard fighter. Oh, yeah, this one's probably this one's probably a keeper. There we go. Man, this fish is cold. He wasn't getting off. Yeah, no, he might be close. It might not make it. He looked bigger when I netted him. Again, the fork's just under the 18. He's pushing that 19 on the. He's pushing that 19 on the scale, but I don't. I don't trust the whole fork rule. I, I don't. I don't want to gamble. Gamble with these fish, especially when they're biting. 
feel pretty guilty if I kept an illegal fish. Here you go. All right, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching the video. Just want to share some of the details of the fishing trip just so you guys can get some uh, idea before you guys go out. So, um, unfortunately, not all the film went through. Um, we lost some video footage, but we ended up catching five striping bass that day. I caught four of mine on just swim baits. Rob caught his on a pencil popper. Um, it was pretty interesting, though. We got a lot of short strikes. Uh, we probably got like 12, 13 strikes, so it's not like they weren't just biting. They were pretty aggressive. Uh, the whole lake had bait all over it, like millions, like around the islands, the inland, everywhere. I was seeing people catch them with an a foot of water, a foot away from the shore, all the way out into the middle. It doesn't matter what you were throwing. I seen people throwing flukes, fly rods, jigging. Everyone was catching fish. However, you really want to get on that water right at the crack of dawn because the fishing was only good for about an hour and a half and then just completely died. So if you really want to get on that bite, you got to be on the water as soon as possible or you're not going to catch any fish. Or if you do, it's just going to be a little slower. Hope this video helps. Um, it is the end of October. I'm really looking forward towards November, December when the fishing gets even better. So stay tuned for more videos. Have a great fishing day, guys.